Hi, it's Esme here and I'm back with Tottenham Football Manager Series and as you can see today we play Fulham away from home in the Premier League. Um, let's just have a quick check on where Fulham are in the league. So they are 16th, so this, uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy match because you know, Fulham are still a good team. Uh, they've got players like Berbatov who despite being 33 now, I did have to check that, yes. Um, he's still got some good stats and he's still certainly a good player. Got Rodiega, Arnarisa, Hangelen, Rangel, not sure about Stockdale actually, uh, but the two wingers, Brunt and uh, Phillips, are certainly very dangerous players. Uh, but we're going to go with a slightly weak team, resting players up for the Arsenal uh, second leg in the Champions League. Obviously, it's a massive game for us. Um, also, players are very tired, so I don't want to be playing them here and then playing them midweek as well. So we've got Lloris, Klein. The reason Klein's mainly playing is Walker's out injured. I may be pl playing Klein anyway because I do love Klein on the game and I do love him in real life. He's a very good player. And he will, I really do think he'll become. A really fantastic player. Um, but anyway, yeah, so Klein's in there um, because Walker's out, and he should be coming back by the time we play Arsenal next time, not this time. Next time, which is, it will be a home game in the Premier League. Um, <coughs> then we got Corker, Old Verrill, Baines. I'm going to give Baines another chance. You know, it's not a huge game, um, and I'd rather um, not risk. You know, I'd rather play Collar in the game against Arsenal, where I'm right now. Who knows? Baines might have an absolutely fantastic game. Prove me wrong. Um, then we've got Ayu, Lucas, Valencia, Bale, Cavani and Falcao up front. Um, obviously Valencia's just coming back from an injury I believe or some, uh, it wasn't a very long one. Uh, let's just get Drogba, Droggy to do that and then, you know, that's why, you know, he's got quite a few players motivated, relaxed, calm down, you know, just in the mood to, you know, go out and play this game, get the three points which is the main thing right now. Um, I'm not sure that we can actually win the game in this match. It may, we have to make, well, sorry, win the league in this match. We may have to wait till the next game, but uh, Rodriguez trying to do everything they can, uh, he can, to, to make sure we don't win it uh, this game. Oh crap! Um, so yeah, we should have, uh, could have dealt with that a bit better, but we managed to get it out, and that's the main thing. Valencia seems aggressive. I'm not sure whether that's really a positive or a negative. Um, it can be a positive. Obviously, it can be a bit, you know, he can be a bit more. Deter I'm not determined. Like he should just be able to battle his way through players a bit more, but he could also lash out with a bad tackle. Um, <coughs> so it can go one or two ways, really. Um, honestly, I pref just prefer it if he wasn't uh, seeming aggressive and just seemed composed, um, because you know it can always go one or two ways when you feel aggressive. Although Falcao's obviously feeling aggressive now, hopefully it goes well for us. We haven't really had an attack today, actually. What's that? Um, so we really want to get an attack on. Fakal gets the ball, keeps the ball. Bale, Cavani should have been a goal. Oh, sorry, could have been a goal. Should is a, a bit far, I think. Wasn't the easiest chance. Um, but it's one that certainly easily could have been a goal if he just taken it a bit better. Oh, we're lucky there. Rodriguez having his shot saved by uh, Lloris and our Brunt. Corker with a fantastic block. Corker is a really good player. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, if I do leave, maybe signing him up for my new, whoever my new team might be. Valencia, you absolute legend. You show why you don't have to just take a long shot from long range. You do have the skill just to run through and stick it in the back of that. You absolute legend. We are now one nil up, and that takes us a step closer to obviously capturing that um, well, the Premier League title. Um, but you know, fantastic cutting inside from Valencia, and then. Just, you know, with the left foot, slotting it under Stockdale. You know, it's great for us that we can get the lead uh, in the first 25 minutes. And especially through a player coming back from an injury. Um, so, yeah, Baines, he's on a 7.0 rating. I'm trying to watch him a bit. Here he is. Let's see what he can do now. I'll give it to him. That was a good pass, you know. We can't just be overly negative. He, he does have his good moments, you know, even when he plays badly. But, um... I don't know, recent form, just not been great. Hopefully it's just a tiny blip and he's passed it now. Um, let's see if he gets over oh, 7.2 or more rating. And I think I'll give him another chance in the Champions League. We are, of course, already winning. Um, we do have three uh, winning. <laughs> we do have three um, away goals as well. Um, so, yeah. Oh, in terms of the FIFA 13 new series, um, I do have my first video um, up and running and um, I think I'll just start uploading after this is uploaded let's get him to do the individual team talks as well just in case there's anything more needs adding 
Valencia is quite tired, but apart from that, I think we can just go on. Uh, I'm not going to change Valencia out just yet. Um, he's having a good game, and he's not like dead. Um, although I would like him for midweek, so I'm thinking maybe, f maybe not 55th. That's a good tackle from Baines. Uh, I'm not sure whether you actually make 55th minute, maybe. I'm really not sure exactly when. Um, 50, yeah, I think, I think about now is when I want to get it off. Really. Baines up against Phillips here. Doesn't really do anything there for me. I'm going to get him off now and get on Shakiri, who hasn't actually played a lot since coming in to the club, Shakiri. But, um, you know, he's getting a chance out here today. Um, Phillips. Oops, in Klein beaten in the air. You kind of not expect Klein um, to be beaten in the air. Um, but, you know, I think Brunt is a bit bigger. He's obviously, Brunt's fairly good in the air, I'm pretty sure about that in real life. Um, he's, does he actually play for West Brom this season a lot? Um, I haven't noticed him that much. Uh, I know he did score recently. I can't remember who against a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I think Brunt's a fairly good player. He's got good, obviously, passing and uh, corner skills. Um, and he's certainly better in the air than Klein. So that is probably why gone. Yes, 2-0. That's good. Oliver out with his first goal for Tottenham. Fantastic for him to get that. We're now 2 0 up. You know, it looks like we, this is the kind of game match that, you know, just does come round every now and then in the season where you just have to kind of get the win and you know you don't it doesn't have necessarily have to be in a pretty way obviously our first goal is quite nice but you know the second goal just getting it from a corner just get the ball in the back of the net and that is the main thing that we need to do Cork's having a really good game uh, with an 8.5 rating wow um yeah he's he had that block in the first half which i really thought was good but i haven't really seen a lot of him today i don't know how reliable that's going to be bales just actually on the sidelines, yeah, let's get him off. Uh, should we get Connor off on that out there? Um, I'm just trying to think. I'm going to need to rest up Klein for midweek as well. Um, I'm not sure whether we should. I'm going to go into the main thing and see what Connor is like on that left wing. Um, I, we'd rather not have to bring him on. Yeah, no, he can't really play. Oh, we've got Ayu, of course we do. Uh, so let's get on, oh I don't really want to bring on Sandro but I'm going to have to, um, Bale's going to come off, because I really want to get Bale off, just to, you know, we're tuning up, might as well just try and keep this one, um, Falcao, I also kind of want to take him off as well, for Denver Bar, but I'm going to leave it for now, um, Corker, still on that 8.5 rating there, I don't know, haven't really noticed him too much, but I guess he must be covering a lot of ground, Oh, we're lucky there again. Uh, Klein, he isn't great in the air, but well, <laughs> I was just about to say he's great. He's good in the ball. He'll get forward, but he just kind of hoofed it away there. So that kind of just completely went against what I just said. I was about to say. Um, Demo bars. I think I'm going to get him on for Farcal now. Just going to check. Is there anything else I might want to do, or that I can do? No, I'm going to get. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to rest Farcal up. Um, you know as he hasn't been on the best form in the last few games, but um, yeah, he's always dangerous. He's always dangerous, and you know, he's always you know, even if he's having a bad game, he's always got that threat of a goal. Oh, Corker, just let him through there. Brunt shoots wide. Luckily for us, it looks like we're going to win this game. 80, well, almost 85th minute now, and we've got two goal advantage. So it's looking alright. Lucas is looking a bit tired. Is it Lucas or is it someone else? Um, Klein, go and get there good so there you can make the tackle and he can get there as quick obviously which is a massive bonus that is a terrible goal kick Baines way out of position I'm going to say as well very as well to make sense I'm going to just put out there you know Baines was well out of position should not be that far up the pitch um, obviously maybe not expecting the ball from Lloris I think it's I think it is um, Lucas who's quite tired he also has a yellow card so hopefully he won't be lashing out at all Oh, cool, cool, cool. oh, Petrich. Klein, he's had a couple of moments where, he, you know, he's been a bit dangerous. Um, you know, uh, that right wing they've been crossing in. Um, you know, that's just something we're going to have to deal with. Oh, I do have Martin Kelly, but really, do I want to play him there? No. Um, I think I'll offload Kelly at the end of the season, actually. Um, if I'm here, that is. Um, I would love to bring players like Corker, Klein... Um, then my bar to my next team where I go um, because you know they're obviously not going to be getting first team football every week here um, 
so I think they'd be open to move to a move um particularly Klein and Corker maybe not them at bar um but no it depends again it completely depends where we go get three points here today it completely depends on where we go drop a oh my god why 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 um okay let's just say uh please at least some of them are looking happy I was very happy with the way um Laurie's played he had a fantastic game now I'm gonna try not to get to these confused players too much um Yeah, I'll say please with your performance to Valencia because I did think he played well on his return from injury. So, uh, whoa, we got actually dominated in terms of chances. We had slightly more possession, Corker man the match. Yeah, I kind of thought it would happen when I saw his match rating. Um, for me though, Lloris was my man the match. Um, very, very solid keeper, made a lot of saves. Um, obviously had that one moment where he tried to pass it out to Baines didn't have the best game again, he had an alright game, he wasn't, he wasn't terrible, let's put it like that, nothing critical came, um, but yeah, so hopefully, I don't know, hopefully that makes Corker a little more happy that he's actually managed to get a game, uh, he doesn't often get too many games, so it's very nice for him to get one, um, every now and then, and it was, you know, nice for him to get it in a, quite a big game, you know, London Derby, uh, City also won, Nazareth Milner getting their goals. Uh, Arsenal beat Chelsea, which is good for Arsenal, bad for Chelsea, I guess. Trying to look for a big shock. Um, Aston Villa beating Liverpool, maybe not, because Liverpool have been doing great this season. What does that leave Liverpool there? Still three points out of the relegation zone with a game in hand. Aston Villa obviously eighth now. Um, so we've got six matches left, and we are. 16 points so if we win our next match i think yeah if we win our next match in the premier league we will win the premier league um that's nice oh it's good to see neymar on form as he is joining us next season of course ruddy i'm not really interested in ruddy to be honest um is he on my shortlist he is he's a good keeper don't get me wrong but um i don't really need a new keeper to be honest um so obviously a good, good, good game for my thought, it's our next Premier League match. Everton at home, so it could be a home match that determines whether we win the Premier League. Obviously we still want to do it on Beaton as well, so that's another big thing. But next up, in the next episode, we have Arsenal at home in the Champions League quarterfinal second leg. And let's just, again, reiterate what happened in the other legs. AC Milan lost 2-0 to Sporting Lisbon. Real Madrid lost 1-0 to Fenerbahce, and Man City beat Juventus won there, and of course we beat Arsenal 3-2 in our first leg. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Of course, of, as ever, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.